welcome back to my channel Monique the stylist here I am starting off this life update get ready with me video by getting my natural hair together I was wetting my hair so that I can make it more palatable my hair is super thick super curly um yeah so I am just wetting and brushing my hair because I was putting it up into a bun ponytail and as you see she is thick um, I already had gel in it I had took it down um, and was re putting it back up so you do see buildup of product in the front of my hair um, because I was using the Gorilla Snot glue um, gel um, the Gorilla Snot gel so this is just my little quick updo before I do my conditioning treatments for my hair because it so very much needs it um, so yeah, I'm just here putting my hair up. I wanted to introduce the video, so stay tuned because I do have some life updates that I will be going over while I do my makeup. Um, but yeah, y'all, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'm just giving you a raw get ready with me. I don't know why I be making out of facial expressions <laughs> like that when I am doing my hair and stuff. Y'all, I be catching some crazy expressions on my face and sometimes I <laughs> edit them out. Um, but as you can see, like, like that, why am I making that face? <laughs> <laughs> trying to get the product out I'm actually at the last end of it and was looking for my other gel but I was just like forget it we gonna make this work I don't know why I be making those facial expressions I be cracking up I be like girl why are you looking so serious while you sitting up there doing your hair but y'all don't understand my hair is super thick I didn't even try to brush the middle of it um so you guys will see that it's not going to be the most smoothest application. Um, but yeah, it's working for me for the moment um, until I do my full hair routine, which I'm pretty sure I will go over that with you guys in another video like I've been promising. Because like I said, my hair looks so dry and, and so like, uh... I'm telling y'all, my hair will fool y'all. Um, once I actually wash it, condition it the way that I do, you'll see that my hair is a lot more <laughs> not like that um, when it's fully detangled because it does tangle easily. Um, so I have to constantly fight with it. As you guys are seeing, I am struggling putting this ponytail up, okay? I had to take a break. Like, whew sheesh <laughs> but i'm gonna let y'all vibe out for a moment while i get done until i start talking in the video um and i thank you babies so much for your continued support and let's get on with the rest of the video
guys see me put my hair in a bun, setting it. Um, I'm only doing this quick style real quick because, you know, I wanted to get out the house today. I'm about to do my makeup, but before I do my makeup, um, I wanted to show you guys a couple of things uh, from Target that I got the other day that were not food items. I do have a couple of clothing items, but that'll be in a separate video. This is just a um, kind of like a get ready with me. Um, I don't know if it's going to be part of a vlog or what, but yeah. So anyway, you guys, um, and as y'all seen, my hair is super, super thick. I have to wash it, condition it. I'm going to try that avocado, mayo, honey, whatever um, hair conditioner. Because y'all seen, like, my edges. I'm trying to get them back together before my birthday. Uh, my hair grows pretty fast when I do stuff. And so, i just kind of been letting the wigs breathe for just a little bit. So, yeah, y'all. Anyway. <laughs> On to what I got from Target. So, the $5 section be popping, y'all. The one, three, five dollar section, the dollar deals or whatever at Target. And, y'all, look what I found. A freaking face and ice and body ice roller. I am too excited to try this. I'm going to put it in the freezer. And I will let y'all know how that works for puffiness and things like that. And this can be used all over your body as well. So I can't wait to try that. And then I had seen on TikTok this girl talk about the makeup sponge washing machine. And I was like, I need this. Like, stop playing with me. So <laughs> this was $5. So I got that as well. And I did get me some kiss nails. Again, kiss. I'm going to say it again because I don't think y'all heard me in the back. Y'all need to be sponsoring your girl or putting me on your PR list because, baby, I always have bought Kiss products. Just look through my videos. I mean old videos, too. But anyway, so, y'all know, like I said, I kind of go, it just depends on how I'm feeling. Like, sometimes I want to keep it cute short. Hmm. <sighs> Excuse me, sometimes I like them extra long. Y'all see that I talk with my hands regardless, but I like it better when my nails is on. So, I seen these and thought these were super cute. These are the Medium Kiss Gel Fantasy Allure. And, y'all, look at this design. Come on, because that light is kind of bright. Y'all, look at the design on those. Can y'all see? Look at the design. So I thought that was really cute and dainty. So I probably slapped those on for right now. Um, and then I don't know if I'm going to bust these out for my birthday. But these are the long and they're new. Bring the Salon Home Kiss Classy Nails Premium. Keep calm and stay classy. Now these were just too adorable. But honestly... These will be popping with my wedding dress, to be honest. But, <laughs> y'all, look at these. These are too cute. Right? So, I don't know. I probably bust these out for my birthday. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I'm going to put these on today. Um, and I might take these or put these on before my trip um in a few weeks so we shall see but i wanted to show you guys those real quick and i'm actually about to get ready um while i get ready i guess i tell y'all the tea of what's been <laughs> going on so as you guys know um let me see do i have all my products i need I just want to do something real quick um because i think i'm gonna get ready to go to target or something but i'm not trying to go overboard with the makeup um i'm just trying to do a cute little one too um i think i want to try my new juvia's place velvety matte foundation 
it is a little red tonish, but I have red undertones. So I'm just trying different foundations until I find like the one I really, well, I could mix it. Well, maybe I will do the Sephora Matte Perfection Tinted Moisturizer. But I don't know if this is really my right color, y'all. Sometimes, and it's in chiffon. I'm like this weird hybrid. Like, you can see my veins and things like that in my, through my skin. I look real pale right now because it looks like I ain't had no sun. Um, and it's always like this in the winter months or whatever. So... I guess this is going to be a life update video. <laughs> a get ready with me. Life. Hold on. My mom is calling. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I actually wound up doing my eyebrows while I was talking to Mama Salas because she wanted to know if I wanted Crackle Barrel <laughs> since she was out. <laughs> And I'm like, girl, yeah, I want me some fish. Because they be having a fish fry on Fridays. So, now that we got that out the way. What I was trying to say. And there will be times that I'm not looking at y'all. Because I'll be looking in my mirror or whatever. Trying to finish carving my eyebrows out. Um, and I hope I could get this filmed before... Um, my love gets off of work and will be calling me so we gonna try to make this quick so i started on my eyebrows um i use the nyx control freak eyebrow gel um i use my little wet and wild brown pencil um let me see. I might not, I can't even see the actual color because it's a little lighter brown. Because I use it for my lips as well. Um, yeah, I really can't tell you the shade. So, sorry guys. But yeah, so I did that. Let me prime my face because I did do my skincare. And I moisturized. But I still like to have primer on especially when I want to film multiple videos and for my makeup to last and this is probably a bit much <laughs> but it's okay so let's go through this little life update so as you guys know that I've been kind of crying <laughs> not really crying but kind of crying um and telling you guys that oh i want to concentrate on my channel full time and things like that and i feel like you know i did i've been pretty good juggling my schedule for what it was um could i have been doing better sure am i still fighting to do better of course because you know you have to be a constant improvement, right? And, um, yeah, I definitely use too much product. And I don't want to rub my eyebrows off. <laughs> I definitely squirted out too much product. But anyway, so, you know, you guys know I've been, if you've been watching me for a while, y'all know I'd be talking about ugh, my corporate job. Why am I here? This is, this can't be it in life. And it definitely isn't it in life. Um, and so, yeah. Um, so, basically, I already knew it was coming, like my performance is good right i am a real stickler on quality um you know even with youtube i'm trying different things you guys know i try different things with my editing most of the time i give it to you real because i mean everybody is not out here to be aesthetically pleasing 
I do try to incorporate aesthetically pleasing things, but honestly, I just want to come to y'all real because that's what I like to watch. Sometimes I do like to watch the aesthetic stuff, but that gets very old, copy and paste, and very unoriginal to me. Uh, which, you know, unpopular opinion, I feel like that's what a lot of people like in this world right now. Um, and like I said, this is just my opinion. I feel like a lot of people are very much copy and paste and have lost a sense of who they are. And I think sometimes in life, we all can get to that point, depending on what type of traumatic experiences we didn't had and things like that. It can kind of put us in, you know, a state of OMG or not really stagnant, but kinda or copy and paste if I might say and so um so that's my unpopular opinion that I have to say in this video um be nice in the comments or else you will get blocked um but I think this is a conversation that we should have because I just like to be real I show y'all the real raw I don't come out here dolled up all the time um, because there was a time I did not have time to be doing that. Like, I am not a morning person. I was a morning person for years now only because I had to be. Um, I have not ever been the type of person that likes to get up early in the morning to go to no job. That was just not me. My favorite work schedule was like 3 p.m. to midnight, um, or 10 to 7. And I really didn't like 10 to 7. I liked more so 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, you know, so to each his own, that's just me. Some people, they feel like, oh, I'd rather just get to work and get it over with. Well, first of all, I've never been one of the types that really like to work for anybody or to answer to anybody um, when it comes to a job. Um, so let's just be real with that one. Um... So yeah, I'm saying all that to say, as of January the 9th, I am no longer employed. I can finally tell you guys where I was employed. I probably will spill a lot of tea because the company is evil. Um, yeah, they're evil. And my boss, my bosses that I had my first manager, she was a plum idiot um, and was part of the whole situation with the bullying and trying to keep me held back. She was one of those uh, people of color, my color, <laughs> and my other boss, he was my color. And one thing about it and two things for sure if you did not butt kiss, if you did not tell your business, things like that, which that's not what I go to work for. I go to make this paycheck to pay my bills, to take care of my responsibilities, and to fund my business outside of this job. Um, so all that to say, your girl got fired. <laughs> I let go <laughs> they said we're tired of your shenanigans and instead of having conversations they said yeah we're gonna get you for production because you're not doing the numbers we want you to do and the reason being is because I worked for a high highly known um, insurance company and I did the back end work um, meaning I processed, uh, bills. I sent letters. So those nice letters you get, I approved or denied insurance for people. Um, I also approved or denied claims for people, <laughs> you know, and so <laughs> y'all, Honestly, I'm traumatized by the place. I'm glad I'm gone because it just did not align with 
anything that I wanted to do in life. And I was there for four years. I should have been the left, especially because I never got a raise. I stayed at the same wage because I didn't cheat and steal to get my numbers. And they kept coming up in meetings saying, oh, well, we know that people are, are I didn't ever do that. Um, I believe in honest work, you know, and quality work. And the problem was, is that I am a quality over quantity person. And they did not like that. Like, I got perfect scores on my quality checks for the work that I did. But because I didn't give them the numbers they wanted in mass production, um, that's what they let me go for, was for production. And it was strictly because... And y'all, I'm so sorry. I'm picking my eyes. Believe it or not, I ain't had no sleep. Okay, we'll get to that in another, in a minute. But um, yeah, you guys. So basically, they didn't like the fact that I wasn't giving them the numbers they wanted. But every time I got graded on my work for quality. And if I was in check, to, in check to what it needed to be, I always qualify for the bonus. I always had excellent scores. Now, mind you, only my team lead would tell me, oh, awesome, great job, every time she would get the scores. Tell me how many times my boss actually said congratulations. Either one of them. The female or the male one that I had. Um, they didn't. Bottom line, all they wanted was numbers. How many policies can we issue? How many policies can we deny? How many claims have you reviewed? And things like that. How many files have you worked? That's all they cared about at the end of the day. They didn't care about the customer as much as you would think they did, especially for the hard earned money and as much as some of these policies were. So, where I worked was United Health Group. <laughs> oh, they the devil, baby. And just a little background, I'm not going to drop the name of who actually owns the whole shebang, but just do your research if you know, you know. But, um, and you'll understand the evil that comes behind it. And I've worked the whole time during this whole thing that's been going on. And what started really saddening me, and yes, I did get pressured about, you know, getting a certain thing that I, you know, but we're not going to go there. I have to be careful because... I'm so close to monetization, I don't want YouTube to get angry at me and spank me on the hand um, for all the hard work I've been doing on my channel, you know. But, um, yeah, y'all, so when I start seeing how some of these claims were getting denied for certain things, it sickened me. Uh, because, like I said, this company is evil. I wasn't having the same experiences as my counterparts in other states and under the other offices. Um, even when we was in the building and outside the building. Um, just being at home. So, you know, and then they play with your money. Like, I literally was on a call because we had training back in July. And we were all told, oh, everybody on the phone call is going to get the bonus regardless of whatever. When it came time to pay out, guess who didn't get their money? You guessed it. I didn't get my extra money. Okay? Um... And then they, t they didn't say this specifically in that meeting, but um, basically they were like, oh, well, you were on a, you were on a, a, a warning about your performance, so you don't qualify. 
and I asked my my manager at the time I said so you asked me what can we do to make me want to push to give y'all numbers because let me let y'all in on a little secret in order to get your numbers how they wanted you to get them and this is very much illegal <laughs> um because I've done it before you pretty much would have to in order to get the numbers that they want you to get you would have to work through both of your 15 minute breaks and your lunches basically you would have to sit at a desk consistently for eight hours without getting up nothing but maybe 10 minutes to go use the bathroom and get you something else to drink in order to be able to produce those numbers now let that sink in because rationality speaking if you were to do that first of all it's against the eeoc because according to company policy, it's written in their policy that you're supposed to have two 15-minute breaks and a 30-minute lunch. Anytime that I actually got the numbers that they wanted, I had to work through my lunches and my breaks, barely getting up to go to the bathroom. Now, mind you, let's not even include the medical conditions, okay? Um, so... You guys know I've talked openly about congestive heart failure and me dealing with that being on medications. You constantly have to pee, okay? Um, the type of medicine that I'm on. You have to pee and you have to eat with that with that medication, okay? And then let's not even talk about my tailbone injury that I incurred, which it's not a fun time to be trying to sit in a chair i don't care how nice the chair is i can't sit for a long period of time even when i'm sitting here filming and i'm not complaining sometimes when i do my sit down videos it could be a bit much um uh, but i work through all of that and i've worked through all of that but i got to the point to where i start i still did not skimp on my quality that's one thing that they could not ever say is my quality was trash because it was never trash, okay? And I worked there long enough to know, I know that in order to get the numbers, you either going to steal and lie about what you done worked on or you're going to work through your lunches and your breaks to get the numbers that they have set, which is not, it's not reality, okay so with that being said that was the reason why they let me go was because of performance because i was not producing the numbers they wanted but my quality of work was there okay um am i sad about it not at all it was a sweet release for me um because that job has caused me ptsd anxiety and all kind of other stuff <laughs> I'm not claiming that I'm really joking right now but no I'm not really joking because when I worked on some of the claims and things that people had submitted it broke my heart it broke my heart on these claims that they were denying of people um so you want to talk about firsthand do i know that people are out here suffering because of the decisions that they were faced and had to make yeah they very much are and um to then have your insurance company not have your back um it's disgusting the, in the, the insurance company as a whole, because I've worked for two major, when I, when I left my other job, which was Anthem, Blue Cross Blue Shield, I worked for them, the main headquarter office. Um, I worked for them and went to United Health Group, which is Golden Rule, um, Optum, uh, Shore Bridge. So if I'm calling out any insurance companies that you may have for insurance, baby, they're all under the same umbrella. 
and uh, I would like to apologize because yeah I've seen it I know what they doing to you as customers I've had I've had the insurance myself and um, yeah so just know that I understand your frustration and your pain I definitely do um, and I'm not proud for you know even being a part of this company at all and that's why I said it was a sweet release and I'm very happy that it happened you know because I had been discussing with the Lord and it was just so hard for me to just be like just forget this job and to tr totally trust him but now that it happened the way that it did y'all I don't have no choice but to trust okay and um I thank God for the loving support of my my hubby and you know mama Stylus um, because they know that this is truly what I want to do and that I just want to work for myself. Of course, I don't make I don't want to make this my only source of income. Um, doing social media because. Um, you know, I know that I'm very talented. I plan on opening up my boutique. I got some other things planned as well. And yes, there was a point in time. I, I mean, I still have my business license for my salon. Um, and of course, I love makeup. I've had makeup clients. Um, during this whole time, you know, it's pretty much my business has been word of mouth. Um, and I appreciate that. Um, but, you know, I'm ready to go full force now. Um, with some things. So, you know, i just kind of been planning some things out. That's why I said, you guys, just wait. The content is getting ready to be rolling in. So, you know, I'm excited about it. You know, this is giving me the opportunity. It has answered prayers. Uh, many a nights I have cried. Y'all know I set up my, my office in that closet. I'm so glad to be free from that closet, y'all. Y'all do not even understand the severity of feeling like you just free. And... It has just really given me the kick and the drive that I needed to bet on me and to rely on God. And I'm so excited about it because this chapter is called My Turn. <laughs> so I am so excited to share that with you babies. Um... And I got other stuff going on as well. Um, so, you know, to stay tuned, I'm going to take you guys with me on this journey. Um, and we could definitely discuss some things in the comments. Any questions you have, I might do a series about corporate jobs. I don't know, something along that lines because I know how corporate America works. I have worked for, my resume is very long, okay? I've been in the corporate world literally since I <laughs> graduated high school. Um, and it's just, there is so much that I know how things operate that I would like to share with you guys just so you could be prepared um, because you just never know what situations you may be in. Um, honestly, this is the first job that I've had no movement <laughs> whatsoever. No raise, no movement, no nothing. Um, they just did not like me. I'm going to just put that out there. They, did, they just did not 
like me whatsoever. Um, and especially when you work for people that's the same skin color as you, baby, that is a stigma that really needs to be nixed. Like, I don't understand that people just don't want to see somebody like them to succeed. People get so scared if you outshine them. And it's like, it's enough out here for everybody. If we work together as a collective, you if you was doing right in your job and not kissing butt, you would not have to worry about that. That's one thing about me. I have not ever in any position that I've ever had um, working for other people, I've never had an issue with having to kiss butt to get my positions. I've not ever did that. Not ever. I am a very intelligent woman, and I've not ever had to do that. But I do realize that I intimidate people. I don't mean to intimidate them. But I'm not going to let nobody just overrun me either. And I don't have to kiss nobody's butt to get what I want. I've not ever had to do that. And I've moved up, gotten raises, gotten acclimates from all other companies that I worked for except for United Health Group. <laughs> they were the worst company I have ever worked for. And... It's so sad to say that. And when you're dealing with people of your own color, that's your upper management. Well, you know, management, not even upper management, but management. Oh, uh, they will throw you, they throw you under the bus there. They sticklers for that. And it's so sad. It's so sad that us as a people have to still deal with that from our own people but it's not it's not surprising i should say so yeah y'all that is what has been going on i mean it is positive to me and of course it's a lot of more positive things that is coming out of this um and plus it now i'm not hindered by the things that i love to do And so I'm glad, you know, that it happened. And I'm not upset about it by any means. Um, I'm still going to have everything I need. So, you know. But you guys will start seeing a lot more of me. Um, I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to figure out. Um, a way I could present some things as far as for um, as far as as a series to kind of get you get you all ready for corporate America, especially if you are dealing with. Um, the different generations that is in the workforce now. But honestly, if you could work for yourself, write your own paycheck. It's plenty of money out here to be got. So write your own paycheck. Um, because that's what I'm planning on doing now is write my own paycheck. I'm, I'm over it. I'm over corporate America and the standard form inversion and now I'm betting on me so I hope this little TED talk <laughs> can help you babies motivate you um and everything um I'm not gonna take my headband off yet I might add some pictures so that you guys can see the final final look because I haven't did my lips yet um, but I just wanted to do my makeup very quickly, do my hair. I did get this ponytail. It is Synthetica. Um, I got her off of Amazon. I will leave the link down below. Please 
run it up in the comments let me know what you guys think if you have any questions um all my information is located down below i would love to hear from you babies i want to thank you all for your continued support my ogs y'all been rocking with me and i love it it has helped me to get to where i am on my way to we are so close to monetization i have not looked at the numbers in my youtube studio today but a celebration will be coming shortly um i definitely want to do something special for you guys i don't know if i'm gonna go live or what y'all let me know in the comments let me know how the latest video uh the latest vlog i have out is going for you guys if you guys like it um but yeah so i want to thank you guys so much i love you all i hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are night and i will see you babies in the next video bye mm -hmm.